We're with Mondo in his garage. And right here, we've got, what do we got? We got the sport bumper for the Infinity. Uh, right now, what we did to it, uh, we first prepped it. So what I first did was I wet the floor, cleaned it up, you know, you yep. don't want any. Gotta have a nice clean floor. Debris going on the bumper, yeah, you want a clean floor. It's not the cleanest, but it's fine. And after that, what we did was we cleaned the bumper. It was primed, as you can tell from the previous video, it was primed, but. Just to, did, just to ensure smoothness, we yeah. wet sanded the, the bumper with 400 grit. And then what first was it? it was 400. Yeah. Well, first 400. Did it a, you know, a couple times. Yeah. And then after that, we cleaned it up and then we hit it with the 1500. Right, yeah, so we just did 1500. You want to show them what we got? Pretty smooth. Ouch. All right, let's see. So this is what we got right here. So at first we hit it with the 400 grit. And then we hit it with the 1500. 3M products. Go crazy, you know. And we just got some Rust-Oleum primer. Yep. So, For a little bit. Yep. And then we got some crystal clear Rust-Oleum. And then we got the Duplicolor. That's the color, obviously. And then we got the primer right here that we're gonna be setting on top of it. It's a more lighter. Sandable primer. primer. Yeah, so we're gonna go right now and we're going to prime these edges. First, every single edge that we have, like every crease right here, we're gonna prime that first. And then we're gonna probably move on to uh, going in uh, th this direction, moving that way. Yeah. So, right? It's a little rough looking right now. Yeah, it so looks rough, rough but trust me, it's smooth. It. It'll, it'll get good once, you know, after you put the prime, we'll sand it down again. With another 1500 it. grit. Yeah, smoothing that out. And, uh, it up from that and we'll get to painting after you know all right so we'll catch you guys when uh when we finish uh doing the edges right yep. all right see y'all in a bit all right yo so we're back we just shot a little bit of primer on the edges looks it looks kind of excessive on camera but in person it looks uh, a lot better so so what we're what, what do we do yeah we're not but, pros Learning curve, pretty good box. This also wasn't our first, you know, time doing something like this. But yeah, trying to put past experiences in front of us. Oh, there's the dog. Look at this dude. All right, so this is Mac. This is Mac, sponsored dog. And then this is Mondo. He looks just like. <laughs> but all right guys we're gonna come back when we uh finish shooting all the primer on the uh bumper here and then uh we gotta kick the dog out so go outside mac go outside right, happy ass dog but all right right mondo we're gonna come back when we uh we'll come back once it's all primered up the, yeah by the time we come back we should have it all primed and, ready uh, to get painted or actually ready to get sanded down. Yeah, get sanded again after we do that. Right. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back, guys. So here's the next couple days. So I hit it with some sandable primer on top of the primer that I already had before. But this works better, in my opinion, and from other suggestions so i use this one and i uh, just primed it don't really care about the inside right now but i just did the outside for now there we go so uh so it's looking like so now it's time to actually get to the painting draw the stuff <laughs> Here's the actual paint. I got two more right here. And then here's the glosses. I already used up two of these primers. And uh, it's looking pretty good so far. After I primed it, I hit it with a 1500 grit. Smoother than it was before. So that's good. Let me 
get this to focus. It's smoother now. So let it dry up a little bit. I just wet it to get all the, you know, the dirt, all the little debris it still had. And uh, after that, I'll just get to painting it and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, right now, I just put kind of like the first little coat. Probably should have done a little bit more or that might be fine for now. I'm going with how the YouTube video told me to go about it. So this is how it looks. It's the first one. So see how it goes. And then uh, get back to you guys. So that's how it looks like. still gotta go over it. there's a lot of imperfections i gotta do one more and uh not really attacking the back don't really need to so that's how it looks you guys can see i still gotta there's a lot of imperfections and i still gotta go over that so that's what i'm gonna do right now and i just wanted to show you guys it's an update and how it looks so uh get back to you once uh it's over once i'm done with the third one so yeah so for my bumper i actually came to a shop a professional shop it's called xander's Let's see if i can show you guys right there came to the shop um i heard they do real good i haven't been here this is my first time and Let's see how it goes. I just dropped it off. Hopefully uh, it comes out good. Better than what I previously previously did. I spray canned it. Here they will actually paint it with the gun. They got the compressor, everything, you know. And uh, they're gonna polish it, buff it, whatever, you know, everything they need to do. And uh, hopefully it goes good. And then I'll show you guys the update on it. And yeah, we'll go from there.